Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Apex Investor, the channel where we look at the best opportunities in the stock market before they happen. We also try to make sense of the stock market, simplify it, give you the big, the best <laughs> exit and entry strategies to maximize your profits. I'm not a financial advisor or expert, so take what I say with a grain of salt. To begin with, uh, we have no TV. They're the big loser today negative 31%, followed by Rewalk, uh, which was at negative 30%. They were up uh, a big amount. I think it was almost 100% the other day. The big winner today was MRIN, American Software Company at plus 61%. That's all for the for Finviz, the big winners and losers. We're going to look at the trending stocks next. Welcome back, uh, OPAD. Welcome back. OPAD was down 12% today, 1093. Um, Didi, the stock I was talking about, the Chinese one is up. They're at 796. I think we can take a look at this a little bit closer to see whether we are starting to see some kind of level of support. It's been at least a month or two now since that has uh, gone public. Metamaterial is up only 26 cents, or I should say 5% to be exact. And well, I'm up, well, not completely up, but uh, <laughs> on the way up, on the way up, getting closer to my average there. Take a closer look at that as well. And besides that, the market was up overall today about a percent. CTXR, okay, that's up. Looking for the big movers, so FCEL is up 11%. They are an EV company. I believe they make batteries. And Bitcoin is up as well to 43.7K US dollars. FTEG is up 40%. That's that penny stock starting to show some life. Most penny stocks are very volatile, however. They tend to go up a lot, and they tend to go down a lot. And when they flatline, they really flatline, don't they? And then AMC is up to 40.08. And GameStop is also up just a little bit at 190. So let's take a closer look at DD. Not, not due diligence or deep dive, but the company DD. And they're up as well after hours, too. So the 52-week range, we're looking at $7.16 to $18.01. So the big question is, is $7 our true level of support? Look at the last six months. You know, it's kind of flatlined. I would still give it more time. This might go down to 6 or even $4. It's hard to say. I don't really see a surge in support at all. It's pretty much flatlining and then flatlining even some more. So I'd say give us another... I'd say give it six months to 12 months. So maybe by June, 2022, we'll have a better idea of what is our best entry and exit points. But uh, in terms of resistance, it's clear that 16, 16 $18 looks like, looks like a resistance for now. And the volume was 14 million, average is 48 million. And market cap, again, a good company in terms of stability. $38 billion market cap for DD. Meta Materials was up today and they finished on the up. They started and opened at uh, 484, as low as 484, and were as high as 520. Volume was just the under half at 10 million. And that's all for, for them. So let's look next at uh, Reddit. Meta Materials released a News regarding a global innovation research program to accelerate metamaterial breakthroughs. Uh, so it's called Ideas for Innovation. Uh, they are building uh, upon 10 years of shaping the field of metamaterial science. And essentially what they're doing, they're going to award the best submissions to this, uh, this program up to $150,000. I don't know if that's Canadian or American. And the submissions will be accepted between October 1st to December the 15th. So we've got a, is that about four month, 
around four months window. Uh, the selection committee will be comprised of renowned scientists, including Meta's own scientific advisory board. And then uh, in terms of the awards, the winners will be announced in late January, 2022. And by that time, I do believe the stock will have transformed uh, immensely, not just as a company, but as a, uh, in terms of the stock price. So that's all regarding that. We're gonna look at the subreddit of Metamaterials next. From uh, Twitter, uh, someone posted this saying it is the best post they've ever read. Uh, Okay, that's their opinion. It says here, Meta is the only Meta Materials company in the world in the LOT network. I'm not sure what that means. Secondly, it is the only Meta Materials company in the world that has full scale production capability. Third, it is the only Meta Materials company in the world that uh, whose high P allows its partners to have full scale production capability in their own facilities. That's a good reason. And the last one is it is the only. Uh, Meta Materials company in the world that is traded on the U.S. stock exchange, the NASDAQ. Okay, I don't see how that's the best post ever. Those are just facts that we all know, but good reminders. Any uh... Refer to the LOT net, L-O-T net. So there's a little bit of a clue what that means. Uh, somebody says here, uh, 200 of the biggest companies in the world have been using their uh, meta materials IPs. Uh, so if this is true, you can see a big uh, surge in the stock price. So we'll see if that happens. Pretty slow news day. We just had one press release and then uh, talk of lot net. Again, I don't know what that is. So I decided to look it up. Uh, I was redirected to lotnet.com. It describes here uh, in early 2020, IBM joined the License on Transfer Network. So that's what uh, it stands for. It is a nonprofit community of companies that support open innovation and responsible stewardship of technology. Lot Network affirms the traditional use of patents, safeguarding the innovations of companies who research, develop, and sell new technologies, while also protecting its members against companies who purchase or acquire patents from others. So that's to uh, protect your IP. Uh, so that is a very good uh, development. We have companies, as you see at the top there, scrolling there, Visa, IBM, and so on. So this is a good uh, news development. I was unaware of this. So that's all for today. Uh, again, this is the update for Wednesday. September 22nd, uh, tune in tomorrow and we'll see <laughs> what happens. But uh, overall, very bullish on metamaterials. Uh, we can see how support is definitely at the $4 level. Uh, I think the most common question that I've seen on the subreddit is uh, when dividend, they say when dividend, uh, you know, to be frank, I gave them, uh, I do give them at least four months to six months to sort that out. And that's uh, four to six months after December 31st. So we're looking at around April, June, 2022. Uh, but in terms of putting all your hopes on the dividend and, and waiting for that to blow your portfolio up, I don't think that's a, that really shouldn't be where you're putting all your, your eggs and to, you know, all your hopes into that. This company alone, like for instance, if you have a, a Tesla or you're invested into Tesla, you're not hoping just for the dividend to, to give you the profits. You're looking at the company as a whole, what they do, who's at the, who's at the head of the company. And, and you just trust the company. You, you believe in their products, their reputation, the innovation, just what the technology and what their products do for, for humanity. And that's, that's really what it comes down to when you look at a lot of companies, uh, the value of what they bring to society. So that's all for today. Uh, thank you very much for the support and God bless you and God, God bless your investments.